Hi everybody, um, I just wanted to do a quick review of the price of oil, um, taking a look at what's been happening over the past few months um, and kind of make um, some uh, ideas about what might happen in the future here. So the price has been dropping in recent days, um, you can see here, um, and then we kind of waked a little bit higher, um, but uh, basically it has been going up um, at least uh for the most part um until about uh the 11th of this past month um and then things kind of dropped again so you can see the lower level here being about 85 um and the higher being uh, about 89 dollars so uh what we're looking at here is the micro wti uh, crude oil prices um and you can see that there's kind of a level down in here somewhere um maybe uh around 80 five dollars a barrel so so the volume was quite negative on friday um you can see quite a bit negative compared to other days um so we are kind of maybe in a downward trend here possibly um at least in the near future um and you can kind of see that there are some other levels here that we've had um so there's like a level here around 82 and then another level around 70 uh, eight. So um, where it looks like we're kind of uh, getting a level of support here, um, kind of off of uh, $84, $85. Um, so you see that the RSI um, has been kind of going in a divergent way here. So you can see kind of downward trend here. Um, and then there was this upward trend overall. So, um, but uh, more recently, this is kind of dropping here. You can kind of see on the chart, um, that uh, the RSI is dropping here. We're kind of in a mid-range right now, um, at least in the RSI, uh, view, maybe slightly high. Um, so it does look like, uh, from the statistic, that we could drop um, quite a bit from here. It looks like we had quite a lot of high trends here, um, and then some new lows um, being made um, quite a bit uh, in here. So um, it's likely that we could see um, kind of a bounce mid-range so we could drop uh, maybe a little bit lower here um, and then uh, hitting 81 and then bounce off of something like that. So I think we're still looking back uh, till June um, and we've just been seeing a downward trend uh, since then. So um, now this recent uptrend was quite significant. We did hit kind of a newer high uh, at least on the MACD and you can see that we're kind of doing pretty positive here trends. So it's possible that we could see um, an uptrend as well uh, coming in here. So we're still seeing a pretty positive signs um, on the MACD. We don't have a crossing back to zero yet. Um, this still looks pretty positive. Um, just the last few days have been a little bit negative. So um, it could be a good buy opportunity um, somewhere in here too. Um, maybe around 83 barrels or something like that, $83. So you still see on the rune oscillator that we are kind of in a positive trend, um, maybe slightly heading down a little bit, um, but <coughs> in general, it's been a positive trend uh, recently. So I was just comparing this um, with the price of gold and um, it looks like you know we are a little bit more positive territory um, than the price of gold. Gold has been dropping uh, more significantly um, than the price of oil. But really both of them have been kind of dropping pretty steadily. Um, and uh, except for, uh, you know, there's this recent uptrend that we had uh, starting back in uh, 927. So uh, other than that, um, you know, things have looked not so great. Uh, anyway, please like and subscribe. Let me know uh, what you think of this review of WTI crude oil. Um, I'd be glad to chat with you more uh, privately and get some ideas uh, with you about what's been going on uh, in the markets. Thanks.